Somebody won't I hate tutorials. Do you also enjoy messing with people, but can't because now if you come in contact with them, you might kill them? Let me take you down the road of cyber terrorism with one of the literal easiest tutorials you will ever see. Basically, I posted a TikTok to send the entire script of Shrek to someone. I post one TikTok, one, and I get more followers than I have on YouTube. The reason for this is because the TikTok algorithm is in a flaming piece of garbage whose sole purpose isn't just to shove Jimmy Kimmel down your throat, but the tutorial was shit. It was 10 seconds, what do you expect? But for real, this tutorial is so easy that I will literally sit in Discord with you if you can't get it to work. I got some of my friends who have literally never touched code before to run through this tutorial, and they all got it, so you can too. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go to this Python website. Um, this is the website to download Python. Um, you can use either of the installers at the bottom. Um, I don't think there's an actual difference. I'm just gonna click the uh, second to the bottom. Um, I'm gonna open this shit up. Um, okay, make sure you add a uh, Python to the path. Um, this is pretty important. Um, this might not work if you don't do this. So just click that, um, do install now, yada, yada, yada. Um, make sure it installs. I don't know if this will, mine's already installed. So I don't know if this will do anything, but um, we'll see. I'm just, I'm gonna cut to when this is done installing. Okay, so after this done installing, we're gonna open up this thing called the command line. So I'm gonna hit my Windows key. Um, type in cmd and that'll open this thing called the command prompt. Um, this is what coders use to run commands on a computer. Uh, this is what we need. And we're gonna type Python to make sure that um, Python installed correctly. So after we type that, um, we're gonna get this kind of prompt that comes up and this kind of just says, yeah, you got Python. If yours has a different Python version number, that's fine. I'm gonna type in exit to leave this. And the next thing we're gonna do is download Git. So here is the page for Git. Git is this thing that lets us um, retrieve code from these things called repositories. So I'm gonna download the 64-bit version. It's 2020, we probably all have 64-bit um, computers. Um, actually fine, I'll just go through the installation. I think it's fine if I just do it multiple times. So, once again, I'm probably gonna click all the defaults. Yeah, defaults, default, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, all that's good. Okay, now we're gonna install it. And I'm bored as fuck. Okay, cool. Um, all these release notes, don't give a shit about those. Next thing we're gonna do is make sure that git works by typing in git, which is uh, G-I-T. Now we see all these commands we can do, yada, yada, yada. We're not gonna use all, any of these, except for this one, actually. I'm gonna use that one. So I'm gonna go actually, I'm gonna go back to my command line. Okay, so now that Git and Python are installed, um, there's gonna be a bunch of commands that we have to run to retrieve the code and to download some other packages that we need to be able to run it. So I'm gonna type in uh, CLS to start a new command line. It just, it just clears the text, it doesn't actually it doesn't undo anything. All right, first command. So the way that you um, copy and paste commands in a command prompt is you have to right click. So I have my mouse here and I'm going to right click to get, to get the first command on the page. So install this, that was really quick. Um, that kind of uh, retrieves the file that we're gonna use to download this package installer called pip. The next thing, is actually installing pip um, by doing our second command, python dash get pip, python space get dash pip dot pi, something like that. Cool, that worked. Um, next thing we're gonna do is install what we're gonna be using to type out the words on the page. So in this case, uh, python m pip install pi auto GUI. Going to install that. You see it says requirement already satisfied because I already have it downloaded. Um, so now we have all our packages installed. Okay, now the next step is to actually copy the code into uh, a folder. 
So I'm gonna open up a folder. In this case, I'm calling it TikTok demo. And I'm gonna click to the right of this to copy the path. And then in my command line, I'm gonna type CD space and then paste the um, thing we just copied, the path by uh, right clicking. And now I am now in that path per se, the command line is in that path. And now we're gonna run the command to copy all the code over. Uh, where the fuck did I put that? So, all right, the fifth or sixth command, whatever. Gonna copy that in. So this is going to clone my repository that I set up for you guys. And that should just clone that in there. So now if we go back to the folder, we see that there's now this thing called TikTok hacks. Clever name, I know. Um, so I'm gonna click into this and now we have, uh, this is called a repository. It's just a bunch of files that are hosted online. If I click into the Shrek file, we have two folders, uh, shrek.py and script.txt. Script.txt has um, the script in it that I just got from the internet. And this has the uh, code. Let me open this up. This has all the code. It's not a lot of code. So now that we have that set up, we're going to go into the directory with um, the shark script. So I'm gonna do, again, right click there, copy this, type cd space um, the new path to where our Python file is. And then we should be good to run the script. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, move it over here, open up a text file. And one little thing about the code. So if you see here, it says time.sleep2. That means it's gonna take two seconds before it actually starts writing everything. So you, what, after you run this, you have two seconds to click on the thing that you wanna paste it to. It could be a notepad, it could be um, messenger, it could be your wife's boyfriend's email. I don't give a crap. So anyway, if we, this is the file that we need to run. So we're gonna type in Python space uh, shrek.py, get my little notepad ready. And then I'm gonna hit enter. So it's currently running, click here and boom, we start uh, cyber terrorism. Somebody wants, okay, I'm not gonna even sing that. And then to cancel it, if you're feeling merciful, is real quick, you have to click on the command line and do control C. So, uh, boom. And now we've stopped it. And that's pretty much it. All right, so you happy now? Got a real little tutorial? You can uh, troll people on the internet? Yeah, uh, watch my other stuff, it's way more interesting. Okay, bye.